Hey, what's Jable and Jables? What? <laughs> You're not Jack Black. Uh, it's got some pickup videos happening right now, STC style. Uh, hey, we'll get back to that in a little bit. We're going to go through some yard sale stuff. The last three weeks of uh, yard sailing and thrifting. Okay, All right. we'll get. Let's get we'll this get straight. Back to that. So this isn't just. This is three weeks. Yeah, I think it's three weeks, right? Okay. Because you've been unavailable to uh, help me out. I told you, t don't take your time with this video. Let's go. Got this at a yard sale. Apple keyboard, Bluetooth. Came with that. I got this for five bucks. So I'll be able to do something with that. You're the best. I'll be able to do something with that. Right? You Apple freaks out there. You're the best. All this was from one yard mm. sale. That's dope. Uh, this is what I can respect. All these. It's all flying at you here. Can you, can you zoom out and show all the... I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do what I want to do here. This was all... How's this? Boom. Zoom out and show all this. I'm, I'm trying to make a uh, big splash. Yeah, there you because go. Because you want to... Who are you trying to impress? Nobody. Well, then don't worry about so it. So all of these old vintage electronics you know, managed to get all this for uh, 10 bucks, I think. This camera is pretty cool. If I can get it open. Tower. Do you know why this is called a tower camera? You know what this name brand is? No. It's uh, now Sears. Ask, ask me if I care. It's Sears. As in the Sears Tower. Yeah, at the time this camera was manufactured, and that was the tallest building. And uh, of course, your sports, Sony Sports Walkmans, which you like. Uh, tennis, uh, Snoop, a uh, couple of uh, two pack there. What, oh, what? This and, is what uh, I'm interested in. What? We don't got time. Open up the one that I want to see. We don't got time. Maniac. What, Snoop? Yeah, Centipede. Yeah, I've, and, never seen, uh, I've never seen that one. Yeah, two pack. Of course, these, these you phones. the shitty phones. I love these these desk found. They got great bells in them. See, this one is rotary in here. So that's cool. The color's not so great. Uh, this one is. Uh, do you want to see what's inside, though? No. The only thing holding it is one screw, which is missing. So you can have a quick peek inside what this phone looks like. That's these great bells I keep talking about. Great sound, right? And uh, here's the date stamp. I believe that's 82. Where? Sure. Right there. 82? That's a B. Yeah, it's throw up on my shoulder. Oh, here, a little bonus. Centipede and millipede. This, this is more interesting than that fucking phone. Uh, this was another yard sale. I'm very proud of myself for not buying complete Wii systems and walking away from them, but I did manage to get this title out of a big Wii bundle. So that's good to have. This was another yard sale that was trying to sell a, uh, an old Xbox with controllers and all that jazz. I'm proud of myself for walking away with just the titles I wanted. So I think they were a buck each. And uh, then I was at the thrift store and, uh, man, I had to swallow hard to buy this because I paid up for it, as you can see. But uh, super complete. It's got all your inserts in there. Uh, the game is in Joe Kandish, if I should say. I already have this loose, so hopefully I can sell the, my loose copy, and uh, that'll pay for that, hopefully. Okay, yesterday's, uh, are we caught up? Uh, yesterday's yard sailing, I came across a uh, Starbucks lot here. This woman, her husband was the district manager of Starbucks. I've told you before, my daughter always makes me buy Starbucks stuff, but it's also highly collectible. That's a, an exclusive uh, Sanda's Village kind of deal from back in whenever. This is cool. I can't even find another example of this online. A Starbucks coffee grinder, uh, chromed out and in wood. So show it, man. And of course, we have some Starbucks mugs here. Uh, what's this one from 2006? I haven't seen that one before. Golf mug. Oh yeah, it is golf. Uh, these I already have one of these at home. 
So that's cool. I'll have no guilt in selling these. These are travel mugs. Very, very good ones. Too. Those I don't like. I like them. I don't. Uh, this I don't one weighs more than the other one. Why? Another Christmas mug. And then uh, here's another Starbucks uh, clear mug made in the USA. That's a good one. That's weird. My daughter did say we have to keep that one. She likes that one. Nice big fat Starbucks mug. And these are the ones that I get excited as a reseller because uh, anytime you can find Starbucks Toronto. Uh, city mugs, they're highly collectible. That's a Toronto one. And we have a Detroit, Detroit. one here. This is all right. Ugh, I got guck uh, on my fingers. I, uh, what's that? It. Yeah, they're not clean. They're why am not I touching clean. that? That's so. cool. I like the Detroit one. The Toronto one's all right. All right. Except Toronto's a dump. Moving on to the big score of the day, I uh, had to talk to a guy and he told me of an old uh, video game system he had and uh, asked if I could see it and he uh, he's like, yeah, let me see if I can find it because I love this thing. Let me tell you about it. And he proceeded to tell me all about the Sega Dreamcast and uh, everything about it. There's uh, one game already in there. That's a good one. Uh, he He was shocked at how many games he found with the Dreamcast in his basement. And uh, I was shocked he actually was willing to sell it in the end. So let's go through the box of stuff. There's the console, of course it came with the box. There's no instructions in it, but it does have the uh, cardboard, um, you know, surround. Came with a uh, game chart. Yeah, that's it. Oh, we don't got time. No got time. I got lots of time, but I'm interested in it. We got time. Again, where I'm from in Ontario, you just don't see Dreamcast. Can you stuff. open it so I, I can film it better? Like, just... well, we're not filming. There's no celluloid being rolled through a camera. Well, when you're professional, it's called filming. No, you know why? Out of respect for the no. legacy of the industry. Was that the right game in there? Oh yeah. Okay. And uh, Sega Smash Pack. These were just loose in the box with the console. So even just this, the console and the box, I'm like, yeah, please take some money. Take my money. And he's like, no, no, I got... So that's cool. Streets of Rage 2. Are these the complete games? Yeah. Fantasy Star 2, Vector Man, Altered Beast. This one ain't bad. It's this he's thing like, here. here, this is the, the joypad you use for the fighting games. I don't know if you know anything about that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. It's got a UMD in here. Explain to me what the UMDs are for. And uh, I'm like, that's cool. So that's, that's a third party one, but. Sorry, sorry, we gotta sorry. wait on Bill for not being prepared sorry. here. Uh, we have a uh, what is that? Pelican uh, Dreamcast light gun. So that's third party too. I guess so. Why don't you show it off, like the the There's trigger and much. stuff? I don't care. It's got some good weight to it. And another third party light gun. This is by Mad Cats, I believe. Yeah. That's so weird, huh? What what is what is that? Oh, that's reload. reload. Yeah. If you can read, it's a, I, if that's a cool design. I wish this was on so I could shoot lasers in your eye right now. There's a guy the like a directional pad under there. I can't see because your sausage fingers are hiding it. I do have sausage for lunch today, by the way. This, you're a big sausage. Uh, some more <laughs> cords here. Look at, I got an extension cord, so that's cool. I know you get excited about cords. It even has a jolt feature, eh? Jolt? Like vibration, I guess. Oh. Interesting. By the way, this thing is called the Dream Blaster. The this, Dream Blaster. This is the Dream Blower, if you know what I mean. So we have a controller here with, what is this thing? Performance. It's the vibrator. Is it? Yeah. I mean, if you hold it in front of the camera, then people can see it. Tremor pack, I told you, man. When you're a gamer like me, you know these things. Yeah, yeah, that's how you put it in, Billy. 
Well, when it goes in one way. This is so cool, man. Like I said, we don't find Dreamcast stuff in my area. The only thing I didn't like about these controllers was the cord coming out of the bottom. Still should have came out the top. Then. We have another controller here with two UMDs in it. Why is there a... Was this not the first controller to have an actual analog stick? That's like, I don't know what that is. This is third party, right? Yeah, because that's the real deal there. That just must be a straight up memory card. Whereas this has, select the, what, this has the mini game on it. You select which game you want on it, yes. And, uh, okay, so obviously with just this, I was excited to give him some money, but he's like, and wait, there's more. No excitement from you? <laughs> I was just checking to see just if you're excited. Just a bit of shame. I was checking to see if you're excited. I am excited. No, we'll go one at a time. Oh, okay. If I can get it open. Get All right, so let's open. watch you film and open a box here. Okay, okay. No, just Burp. open it quick. Burp. Boop. There you go. <laughs> Burp. Burp. He's like, hey, look at a PlayStation 2 demo disc. Those are super rare. You really like you them. Go, yeah, no, they're not. Though I'd never seen this style of it before. Yeah, I know you collect them, yeah, so I you're am, probably... I am a demo disc collector. I am a demo disc. I'll buy this one. We have still sealed the uh, Sega Dreamcast web browser. What? Why is that still sealed? Oh, because <laughs> it's useless. He kept going on how great the web browser was, and it's sealed. Sega Tennis. Still on. Oh, what's the uh, original price tag on that? Well, the price tag was on the front. EB. Oh, I thought this was like OG price. Uh, EB used to be called Electronics Boutique. Look, I don't know if you're aware of that. I am. Why, why are you saying that? In Sherway Gardens. You told me, Cole. Okay. Death Crimson OX. Oh, DX. You know this? No. Why would I know that? I don't know. Pretty garbage. There's the uh, House of the Dead box that we already saw the disc for in the console. You said box. Silent Scope. Uh, I'm really going through this for the first time because I didn't want to waste any time at the yard sale. I'm just, let's box this up and get me out of here. He's like, no, let's start going through it. And he was getting super nostalgic, so I was kind of concerned he was going to hold on to this instead of actually selling it to me. But uh, he's like, I have no idea what this is worth. Uh, I haven't looked it up. So I'm like, that's okay. We're, we're just talking. Dynamite cop! Exclamation mark. If anyone knows anything more about these games, uh, be sure to leave me a comment because I have very little Dreamcast experience. Or you could just look it up online. That's kind of cool. Oh, what's that? Crazy well, Taxi Arcade. Yeah, he, kids went to an arcade before, and you could play games in oh, an arcade. Oh, I'm well versed in arcade yeah. knowledge. Sega GT. Even pre-owned is like thirty-four bucks, eh? Pre-owned, yeah. Well, it's in great shape for being pre-owned. Because no one plays these games. NHL 2K. Paid full price. Because it was sports. Well, it's actually uh, pretty uh, good, isn't it? No. I don't know. These sports games are good. I'm an EA sports guy. Oh, see, that's better than sports. These are all pre owned. Gauntlet Legends. Look, they got prices everywhere on that spine, front, and back. What's this? Expendable. With a big X. Chaos. What? Decimation. Hot features. Chaos. Here's a good one. Just because your buddy's on it? Yeah, my buddy Bruce. Hail to the king. 
I had uh, the boomstick one for the original Xbox. I don't think I've ever played this one. Uh, Soul Reaver, Legacy of Cain. Yeah, that was originally a PS1 title. Or was it originally a Dreamcast title? Mm, what came out over. first? I played it on the PS1. Virtua Fighter... Thir what is that? 3TB, baby. 3TB. 3TB, yo. Mm-hmm. All right. Dude, there's still more games coming here. This is insane. I don't remember asking, but okay. <laughs> Ready to rumble. Mm. This guy's a sports guy, that's for sure. Yeah, he liked his fighting games. Definitely liked his fighting games. Soul Calibur. I think people talk about Soul Calibur on the Dreamcast, right? No? I don't know. I've lost you. Continue with the fighting games. Yeah, that'd be cool. I've never played the Dead or Alive series. Oh, there's a lot you haven't played. It's a fighting game. Yeah, I know. Is that the uh, volleyball series one? Yeah, they do that too. Lots of jubblies. And then uh, Code Veronica, Resident Evil. Mm -hmm. That's dope. There's a couple discs in there. Hmm. Let's see the condition of this. Ah. Of what? The disc. We haven't looked at a disc yet. Yeah, pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't we already see this? No. Nope. Oh, that's 2K2, still sealed. Sealed. What's the price on that? 10 bucks. Check this out Star Wars Demolition. Vehicular Carnage. Demolition. There's Jabba. I don't know anything about this game. That's cool. It's a Demolition Derby, Star Wars style. Uh, he was very excited to show me about this. This is a uh, Bleemcast version of Tekken 3. So what? It uh, this game wasn't released on Dreamcast, but uh, Bleemcast oh, pumped I, it out. I get it. You got it? And Bleemcast for... Works with any compatible dream. I don't understand. Well, they would take the game from PlayStation and put it over to Dreamcast, but in a non-licensed way, I guess. Here's a preview disc or something. Generator. And uh, another one. Demos. That's it. Then that includes this box. He said, look, if I, I bet you if I put that on eBay, I'd get 100 bucks for it. Uh, he said, and uh, as soon as he said eBay, I'm like, oh boy, here we go. He said, but you know what? I'll, uh, if you want, I'll let you take it for 50. And uh, I had that 50 out as fast as it could come out. I didn't even bother. There was a tinge in me that said, oh, hit him for 25. But <laughs> no, I didn't even argue. I, it's the first time I've seen this much Dreamcast stuff ever in my area. So I just snapped it up immediately. Um, this will be, I already have a Dreamcast with a couple of games that I got from Musty in a trade. So I will be able to swap out some of this stuff and get that 50 back, I think, pretty quickly. So where's Joe's stuff now? All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this pickup video. Not even going to plug his own channel? Wow. Oh, it's all about you today, man. Yeah. If you want to... What do you do now? Live yard sales? Is that what you do? Battle Nexus. Silent Hill 4, The Room. I never played that one. Sukaden. What's Neo that? Neo Contra. What'd you call that? Sukaden. Hmm. What? See, these are some demos. Hey, nice. Yeah, it's a demo desk. All right, pull that shit out. I. What pull do you want me to do? Pull that shit out. I can't, right. I can't pull it out any further. Oh, what a master of uh, good work. It doesn't show anything because you're so high angle. What are you talking about? It's unfortunate. If you, well, if you had placed stuff properly, I could have done a better shot, Maniac. 
And that's been your latest SCC style pickup video on uh, the Start to Continue YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Show those other creeps over at My Life and Collecting what subscribership's actually about and uh, patronize this Or channel. if you want to spite STC Pod, hit that subscribe over at My, My Life. Life. My Life in Collecting and Crush. Extra spite on this channel, please. Extra spite with ketchup on My Life in Collecting. Let's crush STC.